Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video and today I want to talk to you guys about some of the stuff coming to the game in the slightly more immediate future. Of course, yesterday there was a ton of information released and one of those main things was of course Iceborne, the expansion for Monster Hunter World which is going to be adding G-Rank, a new area, new monsters, new gear, a whole load of stuff to be excited about. So if you missed any of that information, you can find the videos linked down below. I've got everything you guys want to know in one place. But there is, of course, more stuff to experience in the slightly more immediate future, events we can take part in. So in this video, I want to talk all about that. So if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you haven't entered our giveaway for the limited edition Super Smash Bros. Nintendo Switch, you can click that link in the description box down below to enter. And if you don't want to miss any of our future uploads, then of course you can click that notification button to stay up to date. Now, to begin with, just before we dive in and start talking about all of the events, let's talk about the trial version of the game. If you guys have got any friends that have been wanting to try Monster Hunter or you've been trying to get them into the game and they just haven't quite made the jump, or maybe you've just been watching videos and you yourself haven't made the jump, then from today, December the 11th, till December the 17th, that is next week, there is a trial version of the game. Now, currently, this is only available for consoles, so PS4 and Xbox One. I'm not sure whether there will be a PC version, but right now, this is just for consoles. You can find more information for that on the website, but the trial version will allow you to play up to the three-star quest, that's HR4, and also, if you then go on to decide to buy the game, your save data from the trial will transfer to the full game, so you can carry on exactly where you left off. And what's more, you can also hunt online with players that have the full game. So if you were, uh, for example, if your friend has the game and you've been trying to get them into it, then you can jump on, you can play with them, even though you've only got the trial and they have the full game. So it's a really awesome experience, a really good chance for you guys to jump in. It is a fantastic game. It is honestly one of my favorite games of all time, and it's definitely my game of the year personally. So if you guys haven't checked it out, then I highly recommend jumping in. If you've got a console and you have a chance to download it, give this a shot. But it's only available from today, December the 11th, till December the 17th. So if you do want to do that, now, is the chance to do so. I'll leave a link to the trial website in the description box down below because from there you can then click on the store page and it takes you through to the appropriate store and you can download it if you want to check it out. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's talk about the upcoming update. So from the developer update yesterday, they then basically split it up into four upcoming console updates. Now this is specifically geared towards console right now. PC players will get all this stuff, but it seems like the way they've phrased it, it's probably going to happen at a slightly different timeline as it has been right now. All the events on PC have been a little bit behind console, but rest assured you will get this eventually. But anyway, the stuff we have upcoming in the first update, console update one, is Arc Tempered Call of Taroth. Now, yes, I appreciate some of the Arc Tempered monsters might not have been that exciting, but regardless, Call of Taroth is a really awesome new fight. It's, of course, the new siege fight, and the Arc Tempered version for the first part will essentially behave the same, but you will then have the option to push it into what is called a furied state. We don't know just how yet, but there will be certain conditions you need to meet. And when you push it into the furied state, this is essentially where the new arc temper mechanics will come in. And if you then complete this, you can get a new rainbow tier of item rewards. You can see that on screen right now. So this is a tier that is above the gold rewards. And it can include new and better versions of the weapons we currently have. And of course, just new ones in general. So this is going to be something worth going after. And of course, also, as is always the case, there will also be a Gamma armor set version of the Call of Jiroth armor. And given that the Call of Armor was really good, it had some great slots, it had some great skills, then I'm definitely excited to see what the Gamma version of this armor has. It's also worth mentioning that Arc Tempered Call of Jiroth will be permanently replacing the regular Call of Jiroth. Whenever the Call of Jiroth Siege comes around, it will simply be the Arc Tempered version. However, keep in mind, this isn't going to adversely affect those of you that, say, haven't done the base version yet, because the way that the Arc Tempered one works, as discussed, is that you have to meet certain conditions in order to get it into the furied state, and that's when the new stuff comes in. So you will essentially, if you're just kind of playing through normally, as you always have done, be able to experience Call of Taroth in the more traditional manner. You can go through and farm the existing pool of weapons, you can farm the existing gear, but if you then go through and push it to the Fury state, that's where you can start getting the Arc Tempered stuff, the Gamma stuff, all that good stuff. So they will basically be one of the same, and that will kick off next week from December the 19th until January the 3rd. So there's something to farm over the Christmas period, if you so wish. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that one. I will do my best to bring you guys some coverage of that, but we are getting towards the Christmas period. I will be taking a couple of weeks off at Christmas, so I'll try and get that one done and dusted just before going on holiday. Anyway, moving on from there to console update 2. Following on from Call of Taroth, in the new year, as a thank you to all the players, they have an appreciation festival that's happening, and this is of course going to be in time for the one year anniversary of the game. As always, this will bring back all the previous event quests, as they always do. It'll also bring with it event armor, 
Palico gear, a Pogi costume, handler outfit. The gathering hall is going to be decorated, and this one looks so awesome. Like, I really like it when they decorate the gathering halls, but this one is probably my favourite one I've seen so far. It just looks super wacky, super awesome, and it just is basically an embodiment of what Monster Hunter is to me. So I love the aesthetic for it. But on top of that, there are also going to be special anniversary quests that'll also be used as a sort of celebration, and I would imagine they themselves will lead to gear, weapons, items, exciting stuff like that. But for the time being, there's no exact date on it just yet. They said there'll be more details on this event in a future announcement. But given that this is going to coincide with the anniversary of the game, I imagine we're looking at, you know, the very beginning of next year. So once we get some more information on that, once we get a date, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But of course, you can see from the footage some of the stuff you can expect to do in this event. Then, following on from there, console update number 3, also coming in early 2019, is a Witcher collaboration. This is incredibly awesome, there will be a Geralt armor set, there will be weapons, which I'm going to assume are dual blades, given the way that he's got two blades on his back. And they're also going to be, rather interestingly, introducing some Witcher mechanics into the game. Now, if you guys cast your mind back to when the Final Fantasy collaboration came around, we had Behemoth, they introduced Enmity, which was the rage mechanic, which of course, you know, links in very nicely with how you would tank things and play in Final Fantasy, so they tried to bring that into Monster Hunter for that particular quest. So they said they're going to be doing the same thing for the Witcher collaboration, and they're going to try and introduce some... RPG mechanics into the game. They haven't said exactly what that will be just yet, but if any of you guys have any ideas as to what they might do, some core Witcher mechanics, what you think they might introduce into Monster Hunter World, then by all means let me know in the comments down below. But that is something super exciting to look forward to. From what we've seen in the trailer, there doesn't appear to be a new monster. Like when they teased the Final Fantasy stuff, we of course saw Behemoth, so I'm going to make an assumption that this means it's just going to be Geralt gear and weapons and, you know, not necessarily a Witcher monster, but hey, that could be changed maybe once they show us and talk about it more, maybe we'll find out more on that. But for the time being, that is what we have to look forward to. Geralt has been completely voiced, which is really awesome. There will be voices in different languages as well. So if you're Witcher fans, then this is something you're going to look forward to. And then following on from that, the final console update, update number four coming in spring 2019, is the final Arc Tempered Monster, Arc Tempered No Gigante. No information on this just yet. They did say it's going to be pretty tough. It will, of course, lead to a Gamma armor set. And of course, there'll be, you know, all the associated stuff with that. But that will basically round out the console update. So I imagine for PC, you'll then be getting the similar treatment, just at a slightly different cadence. But that is essentially what we have to look forward to for the remainder of World. Of course, throughout that, they'll still bring back all the regular event quests on that typical rotation. But that is the extent of the updates. And then following on from that, we, of course, reach Iceborne. So there you have it, that's a rundown of everything we currently have left in Monster Hunter World to look forward to. Of course, once we get to the end of Update 4, which is Arc Tempo no Yante, then we'll be very close to the launch of Iceborne. So incredibly exciting. It is a little bit annoying they didn't speak specifically about the PC timeline in this Update 2. So I imagine by that vein, it probably means it's going to happen at a slightly different time. So of course, as and when I do find things out, I will let you guys know. But rest assured, PC players, you'll of course be getting all the stuff that we do on console, just probably a little bit later. So either way... I'll let you guys know. But for the time being, that's everything we've got. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games. And what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency and you can redeem that currency on the Endgame store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.